What's happening guys? My name is Jake Grace and welcome to Bottom of the Well. Now this time I want to go Dark Alice. She looks pretty fucking badass. I read also up last time. So we shall accept and start. Let's get straight into this motherfucking game. Whoa. Dream Diary. Today I had the weirdest dream in my life. Waiting for a joke to come online so I can talk to someone about this. God, I feel like I'm going crazy. Morning. Is this all the same? Morning. I will click. Did catch the anniversary reading last night? No. Well, I tried, but I fell asleep. Listen about, about that. You fell asleep. Oh, come on! Else in one night is like a favorite. Let me finish. Something happened. I'll turn on radio. Right, so all our same. Skip. <laughs> seen all this last time. If you didn't see it last time, well, you're gonna have to go on the last video, I know. So, like I said, it was the end of the world. Everything I did, the fellas, real that day, every smell, every sound, every color, every touch. It's important you know that I wasn't acting like I would in a dream. I didn't know it was a dream. Right, so she do she didn't say this last time. So she knows she's dark, Alice. I can't get the real ending with her either. So heavy. There's no warning, no build up, nothing. Just between one moment and the next, TV had turned to emergency alert system. And his voice sounded like it had been recorded in the 60s, told us we were under attack. Someone told me as well, when I'm reading this, I need to be a lot slower. Because not everybody's Welsh, not everybody can understand what I'm saying. Well, fuck you people who can't understand what I'm saying. But fucking learn. No, I will go a bit slower and a bit quieter. No, a bit louder and slower. Were you alone? Yeah! I had... Nah, no, joking. I had just gotten back from the store and I was unpacking my groceries. I had the TV to catch... I had the TV on to catch the evening news and weather. I remember buying a lot of canned food for some reason. Because you're a survivor. Since when do you have more than a spare pack of ramen noodles in your cupboards? Hey, stop underestimating me. Future... Fuck, this happened last time. Get off. Future Dream Me was pretty organized type. Although, bleh. Is that bleh? Bleh or belcher? I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking with all those cans. Definitely paranoid. Anyway, what happened next? Like I said, the TV suddenly turned to an emergency alert system. Dragged the volume all the way up too. I didn't even know they could do that. The broadcast told us we were under attack right now and that we needed to get to the shelter. That we had less than 30 minutes for the bomb set. See, they didn't tell us any other one. Notice, ah? Huh? Notice, ah? Huh? Oops. Jesus. Something scary. At first, I didn't want to believe it. I switched the channel, but they were all the same. And then the sirens started. Tornado sirens. Flood sirens. I don't know. And I knew things were serious. So, what'd you do? I went online to find... No. Yeah, go on. I went online to find out what's going on. Did you try calling someone like parents? Of course I tried. But it was futile. The phone network's completely overworked. But the net still worked fine. So what'd you find? The net was working. But the bandwidth was severely lacking. The major news networks were either down or overloaded. For all the big search engines defaulted some kind of government site in a super simple HTML. That kind of confirmed it really was a real deal. Isn't the net supposed to be some kind of DARPA? A DARPA invention anyway? Wouldn't be surprised if they had some kind of system in place to take over if need be. Well, they hadn't taken it over. You could still go whenever you oh wherever you wanted. Facebook still worked. Shit, I said that was wrong. I thought she was gonna say more. Apocalypse proof service. Nice. It was insane. I tried to get in touch with my brother. He's the only one who even got an account. But there was no reply. I spammed my answer and sent an email to my mother. But I don't know. It felt like it need I needed to find someone right there and then. And and nothing. It pretty much describes my I just pretty much described my online presence. Although I did take the op uh, opportunity to search for the closest fallout shelter. Yeah, uh, shelter to my desk. See, I can't get my fucking words out. <laughs> I'll bluff nose. Leave me alone. Clever. And and I found one down the third. My friend's online in the corner. I don't know if that pops up in the video. It was second result, just under. It. I guess uh, search algorithms. <laughs> fucking words. Search al uh, algorithms still going strong. Which led to a Facebook group discussion. Discussion. Fuck me. Seemed like a lot of people from around were headed there. Maybe with a shot. So what happened next? You know, I did find you online. 
I must have been useless. I'm all the way over in old Blakely, unless things are different in your dream. No, you're still in the UK. The bombs had already started falling there. We, you, you disappeared. There's nothing more to do. My dad, that looks pretty cool, man. Don't he look at him in the corner? He's like, I look fucking cool. I got a menu up here. It's behind my head. What's this do? Fuck all. <laughs> what do these do? Could I have done stuff? Crap. It was only a dream, Al. Sure. So, then what? Fuck all in chairs. He didn't do nothing last time. The follow shelter was down on third. It wasn't far. Close enough to walk, anyway. Did you bring anything? Oh, right, yes. I grabbed the biggest bag I had. An honest god hiking bag. I've never owned a hiking bag in my life. But in, in the dream, I did. Right, so what did I take? First aid. Flashlight. That's in my hands, cool. I gotta take a radio. Take food. Take food. So I'm, gonna, I'm basically have anything except for food. Wait, what's, what goes your end? Oh, uh, ooh, look at my little um, bunny. I'm <laughs> starving! Well, go on, what was it like? Did you run into trouble? You could say that. God, that shelter. So, I headed towards the shelter from my apartment. I'll admit it was still, I was still kind of hoping it was all just some kind of big false alarm. By tomorrow, everything will be back to normal. Like the extreme version of Orson Welles War the Worlds broadcast. Actually, the panic that radio show caused was greatly exaggerated, probably by Welles himself. And it worked. We still remember it today. Great ad campaign. Yes, it was a great ad campaign. Guess our English lit degree is coming to some use at least. Ah. Yeah, I said that right with my arm. Pleh. I got a bag now. <laughs> oh shit, I'm still speaking. I'm so sorry. Yeah, well, it didn't really feel like it. I remember trying to think of words to describe the way the streets felt, the way the city sounded. Turmoil, chaos, anarchy, tumult, pandemonium. Hey, <laughs> still got pandemonium right there, bitch! The capital of hell. Now he's got a degree in lit. Stop stalling. Yeah, stressed. So fucking damn! Like I said, everything felt so real. The panic in the streets, the accidents everywhere with no emergency responders showing up, and the ever present siren. It was like everyone walked with their eyes to the sky, just expecting to see a flash! Did you make it to the shelter? Okay. The shelter was actually in the basement of the bar. They used a storage, which was handy since the door towards the sh since there was a door towards the street. But there were no signs of anything like that anymore. I just knew about it from the Facebook conversation. Okay, wait. Isn't that the bar you always go to? The red bar? The red bar? I'm at the red bar! Heh, <laughs> yeah. Go on, Alice. Did you get in? I went to where I thought was a side door. It wasn't the kind of alleyway I usually hang out in. I could just imagine junkies, hobos sleeping among the trash bags. Anyway, the suspense is killing me! So I knocked the door and then immediately tried to handle it. was locked. Nothing happened for a while. And then the door opened. Just a bit. And she stuck her head out. She? The bitch queen! She was this red-headed, no, red-head chick who had taken charge of everything in there. She was the one who originally posted about the place, so I guess she felt she owned it somehow. She stood in the doorway, looking me over, and then basically said, We're full, like it was an exclusive club. I can't believe they just keep you out for no good reason. Was it actually full? Ha! Not a chance! I read all this before, or ever. I'll carry on. There was a sign on the door that said, Capacity, 100. There was just no way there was 100 people in there already. I said as much, she didn't reply. I guess you didn't just let it be at that. Uh, well, yeah. I tried to push the door. Right, this is Dark Alice. It's supposed to be a bit of a badass, so let's go for that. I wasn't having any of this shit. The door clearly said capacity 100 people. There was no way there were 100 people in there. So what to do? Push with all my might. She was stronger than I thought. Oh, um, nam. Well, yeah, too. She kicked out my foot and tried to force the door close with a qu quick push. I didn't fall for it. Yes! I got. I done something new! Well, I guess all the future dream. All that future dream you dream. What? All that future dream you dream time must have paid off. Fair enough. Yeah. One step, then next, then wham! She was stumbling backwards into the room behind, and we were in. 
So she let me slip. Slip in, closing door behind me with a bang. Ooh, this is new! I barely had time to get my bearings before she started taking command again, telling me to hurry up and to empty me bags. My bags, my bags. Empty bags? Yes, I said, empty my bags. Two minutes. Sorry about that. Empty your bags. She has some kind of notion she should be in charge of the supplies. What did you say to that? Yeah, well, put you in charge! Holy shit, ass! I didn't know you had in you! Nah, me neither, man. I'm a fucking badass, motherfucker! I'm fucking totally badass. Sorry about that, I had to read this. Holy shit, Alice, I didn't know you had it in you. I don't know. I was tired. Stressed out of my mind. Panicking. And the bitch tried to keep us outside. And now she wanted my stuff? I didn't have time for her shit! I'm sorry. I got a little bit crazy there. You go, girl! How'd she react? <laughs> she killed me. I'm now dead. Stand that someone would actually stand up to her. I fucking like Dark Alice. Dark Alice go in places. Fortunately, she can't get the real ending. She should have the real ending. What did she have to say for herself? Said that she was a... Oh, fuck, here we go. Ahem. <clears throat> she was a... Pro... Propertyer. I think I got that. The property of the Rad Bar and therefore the legal owner of the Fallout Shelter. And that was... Only out of the kindness of her heart that she allowed us inside. I fucking had to push her through door, you little fucking bitch! I allowed you, huh? That's right, sir. Tell me about it. I remind her nuclear war was about to go down out there, and that whatever bullshit ownership ideas she had were quickly going out to date. There would be other forums of currency soon enough. Jeez, Ellis, there was. What? Half an hour after the announcement? You got. You got real fast. Whoa. I guess. I mean, this was kind of what I'd been preparing for. I was just mentally in that space, I guess. Oop! Oop! Something happened up here! Uh, space guess. Anyway, a lot of people stopped and took note, and she was. Well, she went quiet. Did she leave you alone afterwards? The place had maybe tw 20 people, and she said it was full! A cheeky little fucking bitch! Oh! We're gonna kill her at the end of the story, Alice, don't you worry. In it, us included, but she stayed away from me, from most of the rest of us. So yeah, she did. I can't read these words properly. I think of problems. Were you the less to arrive? No. Soon after, there were some others. She let them in without trouble, embracing one of them. This big, burly guy with a motorcycle. We know him. He was our friend in the last one, and he still couldn't get us in. Someone you knew, kind of. I think his name was Ray. He liked motorcycles. I don't think he recognised me though. But the place was still empty. Yep. Soon after, there was another knock, and this time the bitch queen tried to do the same thing she did to me. What did you do? I stepped in. This was unacceptable. I gotta go. I got a phone call in a minute. Two seconds. Right, we're gonna step in. This is unacceptable. Ah, oh, yeah, I know. Remember I had that phone call? Well, that was like three days ago, so... I'm back. I'm gonna finish this video. Don't worry, don't worry. Damn right. My click won't work. When I raised my voice to her, she just turned red. What was your approach? Did I mention I was damned fit in a stream? I didn't give her a chance to protest. I just pushed her away, opened the door to the people outside. She tried jumping me. Cat fight? But my friends backed me up and pulled us apart. But then her crew, Ray and his friends showed up and all of a sudden there was a hole. I fracas? Fracas, it's gonna be fracas. Fracas. The people waiting outside took the opportunity to stream in, although half of them just slunk into the shelter. And the other half joined in on the fracas? I don't know. Of course. So I guess in the end you won. Mm, well, the alternative was that she would have won. What happened next? The end of the world happened next. The bombs. Ooh, we survived it this time. We were all underground down down the set of stairs leading to the actual bunker. It was filled with barrels and barrels of beer and other drinks. But at least it was light for a while. So it actually happened, the nuclear war. Yes. We had a radio with us. No, I had a radio with us, thank you. Oh the music changing. And we all sat clusters around there. At first they were 
Spor Sporadic. I don't know what these words are. Sporadic reports that the US missile defense system was working and that it was shooting down all the incoming warheads. Then the signal turned off and a few moments later we felt the rumble. Holy shit. Were you okay? The shelter did what it was designed to do. Yes. Although at one point there was a terrible sound just above and the shelter was briefly filled with dust. I was pretty sure we were all dead. People were screaming, babies were crying. Ah, oh, no babies. The lights flickered and died. It was the end. Holy shit! Your, subscri uh, your subconscious wasn't joking around. We subsisted on candles and flashlights and waited for the radio to come back. It did after a while. What did it say? Just about expected follow patterns. It sounded very recorded, but I guess there'd have to be someone alive up there still clicking the buttons. But even that ended after a little while. Wow, okay. So, how long did you stay down there? Well, the radio said uh, there was a cloud of radioactive ash coming over our way within 24 hours and told everyone to stay inside until further notice. Then it died. So, I guess you stayed at least 24 hours then. Of course. The problem came when we tried to leave. What? Well, the shelter was underground, underneath a big trap door, and the house above it apparently collapsed onto the trap door. We tried to open it, pushed and pushed, but it wouldn't budge. Damn, that's like a real nightmare. Very live. Whoa, yeah, that is, isn't it? Well, we had food down there for a while and we started drinking beer with our meals. We could probably stretch it out for weeks, of course, and we'd all be kind of drunk all at the time, too. But what then? Maybe there'd be rescue. Maybe. But what if there wasn't? What did the others think? Ray and his queen wanted to sit tight and wait for help. A few of the others wanted to find an alternative way out, maybe through one of the ventilation shafts. The third option would be to keep working on the trap door. It opened out, but if we removed the hinges and got it to collapse inward, and then dug up through the debris, the radioactive debris, yes. But the radio had mentioned fallout falling and falling down. Fallout falling down within 24 hours. Stay in put even if just for a few days longer and then trying one of the other options might be optimal. Anyway, people were getting very antsy and so it was time to make some kind of decision. So, what did you do? Uh, la, 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 la. What shall we do? I don't want to wait. It's boring to wait. What did it matter? What I wanted, I sat back to Oh shit, that is right. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but don't get the A from the ventilation shaft. Well, yeah, so it's kind of risky to go messing with it. And we all knew that. But the trap call door didn't feel like a good idea, and neither was same putt, so it was shot. So what did you find out? Well, I stood on the shoulders of some others and managed to dislodge the grate on one of the shafts by the roof. I shone a flashlight and saw it was barely big enough for one thin shouldered person. Sounds like someone I know. Yeah. I might be a thin, I might be thin shoulder now, but in the dream I was considerably more buff. I tried, but I couldn't fit. You have the weirdest, most specific dreams. I mean, seriously. I know. I don't. Yeah, no. It was specific. Anyway, we asked around for other volunteers, but no one wanted to do it. It was a very small shaft, and no one knew if they could actually, if it could actually be traversed or not. And what if you just went around the bend and then got stuck? How would anyone get you out? So what did you do instead? Oh, you, could, you can't enlarge one, bro. Let's go for a trap door. Trap door, huh? Seems like a safe idea. What did the bitch queen think? She was set on staying inside. She wouldn't have to hand to help. I'm pretty sure that even if we managed to open the door to the outside, she'd stay still. Well, still stay, I mean. Did you open the door? We managed to break open the trap door so that it was opened inwards. This only took a few hours. The guy who had been helping me with the door were both hit by the rubble. I think one one got his leg half crushed and the other got really nasty blows to the head and gave him concussion. Oh, damn. But aside from that, it must have felt pretty great, right? Not really. For a brief moment, there was a flash of daylight from the outside. But it was just a flash. Like someone offering you up just to snatch it away immediately. But at least we were reminded the sun still existed. 
so much work was there. A lot, really, a lot. I wasn't alone, at least it looked pretty bleak. So, did you go at it? Well, I knew that the dust would be radioactive, at least to some degree. Then there were ten of us there to help each other clear the rubble. We needed to get it done fast if we were planning on, li on living tomorrow. Hmm, so what did you do? We started digging. So we started digging. What's this? What the hell are you? What is this? Why do you keep popping up like that? Anyway. Took maybe two days, but by the end of it, there was light. It's done again. Oh, there. Yeah. I'll say up, yeah. Day, Thursday, September 22nd, black rain. Ooh, and then? Well, I'm all, I and most of the others felt like complete shit. We were thrown up, and I had this absolutely awful migraine headache. Ugh, it was awful. A lot didn't make it, make it at all. Not oh, shit. They were just too weak. It was radio, all radioactive dust. But it didn't affect you as badly. I managed to soldier through, through it then, but I had a feeling I wouldn't be bearing any children with only one head off this. Ah, why am I not laughing? Because it's not funny. So what did it look like? The world. It was. It was destroyed. We crawled black in the face and bleeding from our hands into hell. The city was in rubble. Everything was covered in black ash. Some of it still falling from the skies in the distant fires all around silence. That still looks the same if you ask me. Jesus, what did you end up doing? Well, the bitch queen wanted to force our hand. She said in no uncertain terms that we, that she was sitting right there and if anyone who didn't want to wait for rescue was free to leave. And you? Were you free to say? Not in a million years. She was adamant I left. Me specifically. Queen Bee Syndrome. The others? The others crawled up after me. They do what I wanted. A few others joined in as well. Jumping camp. So what did you decide to do? Shall I be evil and try and take it? Fuck it, come on. Whoa, why am I a Moxie, but she doesn't sound like the kind of person you want to pick a fight with and lose. What was she going to do? Throw me out? I was already out. So what was your avenue of attack? I was done with the bitch. I socked in the jaw. Yeah, come on. You did what? There was a sandy ruin around, so people hurt and injured all around, people in need, people who could use a shelter, and this bitch and her crew were standing away, essentially giving out death sentences. She deserved at least, at the, at the least, a beat dead. Fucking hell. But, I was acting on impulse. She never saw me come in, and apparently she had a glass jaw, one clean aim and BOOM! The light went out. But, but, Ray? Did I not tell you I am goddamn Sarah Connor in the stream? I knew he was coming. Grab the bitch queen before she could fall. Christ, Alice. You pulled out your name and named it. But I was now holding the very much knocked out girl's shield. Go on. He hesitated. Long enough for one of my friends to rush forward and grab his arm and wrestle the gun away. Long story short, I won. <laughs> I won. That is cutting it short. What did the other say? What did the bitch queen say? What did you do with the gun? Again, long story short, but... Oh shit, I didn't mean to click that much. After a lot of arguing and shouting and fighting, we decided we were better than them. They could say as prisoner they could say as prisoners, of sorts, with no rights. The first thing I did was put a gag on the bitch queen. Man, that was satisfying. The price of coming in second place. Dreamy was a really sadistic character. She deserved it. After everything she done. Anyway, shelter was ours. And the gun. I um actually lost it. Someone took her in the oh, that word again. Frack, frack, yes, frack, yes, frack, yes, I know. And it was gone. I don't know who. I didn't really care either. Maybe one of Ray's friends had it. They didn't. They didn't say. At least it didn't come back to bite us in the ass. Hmm. So why didn't you just kick out Ray and his queen too? She was in no state to travel, and he wanted to stay with her. I remember this one moment. The queen and Ray were sitting on a bench down in the shelter, huddled up close. Ray took his jacket off and wrapped it around her shoulders. I remember the jacket had this big gold embroidered text that says Lucky 7 on it. Not so lucky. 
Hmm. I don't know why it jumped out so clearly to me. Anyway. So, you say that shelter for how long? Well. Hey! I got an achievement. Shelter King. Boom, boom, boom! I'm the fucking king, bitch. Well, the idea would be to wait out the worst of the fallout period. Unfortunately, the trap door was totaled and there was a lot of debris already inside the shelter. But we built a kind of makeshift thing out of tarp and said keep the wor keep out the worst and did our best to clear out what had come in. Alright, so how long did you stay? Essentially until our supplies started to run out, so... Which was practically immediately. <laughs> but at least we got a moment to rest. Oh, shit. It's not looking good. So we did go off this. Well, by the time we actually got in a few other wanderers come, most of them were headed out town towards an evacuation centre set up at the college at the end of town. What? Like, your college? Yeah. Talk about going back to where you started. So you decided to go. Just give me an idea to get the real ending. I was thinking about it anyway. But I'll do it in another time. Go. I thought about doing something else. Don't look for chairs or whatever. But it felt like I was responsible now for all these people. They looked to me to make a decision, and the only right decision was to go there. Nice. So you bundled everyone up? Well, almost. The British Queen wasn't going anywhere. Her loss, and not everyone had to shelter until to go there. Many and other places they want to see first. Homes, families, friends. You bundled everyone important up, and then you head out. What was it like? Oh, God. It was pretty heavy. The streets were jammed. There were bodies everywhere, and they had to... S and they had started smell. Everything was covered in ash. Uh, not to be recommended, but eventually we needed our goal. So it was real, the evacuation centre. Not so fast, there was a slight obstacle still in the way. Oh, what's that? The river. There's a river? Not something I thought about either. I didn't live anywhere near it, so whenever I crossed, I just drove over it. But uh, there was... But there it was, a geographical reality. So, I mean, the bridges were surely still there. True, but when we approached them, we realised they were occupied. Uh-oh, by whom? I'm not sure. I saw them from afar and kind of ducked in cover. So immediately, they weren't good news. They had guns and they were harassing other people who would come to the bridge. I think they were mugging them. Did they let anyone pass? Yeah, some. But I didn't want to know what the place was. Or if, uh, or if they had some other criteria for letting people through. So, what did you do? I'm fucking badass, so I'm gonna go up and confront to them. Yeah, fuck it. Brave. Well, I wasn't alone. We might have been largely an armed, but we were a team. Hmm. So, what were they? Just thugs? Part opportunists, part worried townsfolk. They claimed that they were protecting they part of the town from riffraff who were coming down from a city trying to steal all their uncontaminated food. That. that this was some kind of con concerned citizens' roadblock. Conveniently in the in the way towards the main evacuation centre. Yeah, but well, I mean they had a lot of guns. I didn't really detect a lot of malice in them. It didn't seem like they were particularly they particularly wanted to use them. So what do you do? Yeah, whatever. I'm fucking badass, so I'm gonna say uh, boom. Shit, forgot to read that. He said, what about all guns? Maybe, but we had the numbers. I'm sure they said something like that during World War One. Two before getting mowed down by a machine gun. Except I wasn't some power blinded cavalry general. I knew there might be a fight, so I had told everyone in advance how to act. I didn't just announce my intention to throw them in the river. I acted nice until it was too late. Remind me not to get on the wrong side of dream you. One word, and my crew descended on them. Ripping guns from hands, turning, turning them, turning them towards aggression. The boss, who I was standing in front of, turned his gun towards me. Oh shit! But I grabbed it and yanked it from his arms before he had time to even utter a threat. I smacked the butt, or the butt of the gun, of it into his head, and he went down. I looked around, and the bridge was ours. Well, I can't say I condone it, but did you get through? Yeah, and ahead. The evacuation center. So the evac yeah, evacuation center. My college. I'm not surprised I dreamed about it. It's like at the center of my life right now. 
It's this part where the dream turns weird and color starts sprouting legs and begins smoking a hookah, hookah, whatever, or something. Unfortunately, no, that would have been pretty welcome respite. Even so, it must have been a respite. Proof that society survived the United States when completely obliterated, etc. etc. Speaking of, what did happen to everyone? I know, everything was still rather hazy. I still got a few people. News was spora. Ah, that word. Sporadic, sporadic, I know. And often hearsay. It was a lot to talk about missile defense system that no one knew we even had. That apparently managed to shoot down something akin to 90% of all enemy warheads. Which we'll think in. Based on what I was hearing, I don't really see the difference. 10% was clearly more than enough to wreck an imaginable havoc. Hell, 1% would probably have been enough. Okay. Anyway, go on. I want to get to the end. What happened at the centre? At the gates, there was a screening process going on. A big plastic corridor which we were all told to undress and go through the super cold shower. After which, men in gas masks and plastic coverings ran a Geiger counter on us. Yeah, I got Geiger, right? Seriously, so what happened? There were two doors at the end of the corridor. Beyond the men in masks with guns. Whenever the Geiger counter frazzled and complained, you went right. Whenever it was quiet, you went left. I went right. And what about your crew? Some went left, some went right. Depending on. It didn't matter, there were no more groups. They were just living and dead. They gave us back our old clothes the other end, which was the thing. Which was the thing that really should have freaked us out the most. Freaked us out. Most were just grateful, but... For that meant they considered you dead. Yes. Through the fence I saw... The ones going left leaving towards the dorms and all wearing what looked like some kind of prison uniform. At least they were likely to be clean and contaminated. And you? Where did they lead you? To the football stadium. Can you believe that? They didn't even care about us enough to get us to get us out of the fallout. They had they at least set up tents, stores and kitchen for us, all staffed by similarity irrita irritated people. Of course, presumably serving us irad how's that word? Irad eradicated. Eradicated, I know. Food. They didn't want us to feed they didn't want to feed us the healthy ones. This can't be with the story ends. No, no. The weirdest part is still about what Ooh, interesting. Ah, the legs and the hookah may be a mushroom that makes you grow 10 floors high. Nope, it's not Mario. No, but I remember. I told you about the music I heard on the radio and I fell asleep. Yep, that was playing. Well, when I was lying there on my... No doubt, leth lethally radioactive mattress. Standing up at the sky about half a second away from tears, I heard it again. Kinda like you'll turn the sound of thunder into explosions in a dream. No. Or maybe. Actually, yes. That's not a bad analogue. The music was a connection between the dream and the real world. When I heard it, it was like I suddenly remembered that I had once that I had once had a dream I was currently having. I remember in the dream thinking of how incredibly unlikely that was. It was weird and it was weird, okay? Yeah. Dreams are weird. So the music, where did it come from? The football stadium is connected to one of the campus buildings by a long covered annex. They had put down the gates and locked them, but we could but I could still go all the way there. Beyond the gate, beyond the annex, in the building across. It was from the admin building. You know where the student office and rector? Rector's office and all those were located. There was an open window with the light on. And that's where the music came from. Pretty amazing, you could hear it from all the way over there. I knew. Oh, crap, it down again! I knew there was some connection there. Some truth hidden in those tunes. Something that would allow me to wake up from this nightmare. Because that's what it was. Every single aching, painful, awful moment of it. But it was beyond locked gates. Inside another building. Presumably filled with soldiers with guns. You got this far, was there really nothing you could do? I saw, I sat down open window, listened to the music, and that's when I felt I knew I was in a dream. This wasn't real, or it was, but it wasn't all that was real. There was an alternative version of this dream, where I'd done things differently, where my life had been different up until this moment, and as a result, I wasn't stuck on this side of the fence. Some kind of multiverse theory applied to strange realistic dreams. If there's an endless number of dimensions, who's to say 
is not one where dreams are more real than reality. Anyway, no, more like I remembered having made certain choices, certain choices about what I wanted to do with my life, how I was going to spend my time, and all those choices and a million others had led up this moment. This moment of helpless separation, but that, if I had done differently, things would be different, bravo, this is kind of how the arrow of time works. You do X today and maybe Y happens tomorrow. Do you know why do Y today and maybe Z happens? Yeah, except, what if you can foresee where the arrow of time is going to hit? What then? You're saying you had a... Ah, uh, prof... Profec... Prophetic? Prof... Prophecy dream, fuck it, I'm calling prophecy dream. That's what I'm saying, the dream ended shortly after. I think I end up killing myself by jumping from the top of the stands. A final swan dive rather than a slow... And sl the slow wasting away they had condemned us to. And then I woke up. And, oh, I know, that was close. And that's concluded my dream. Well, that was interesting. What do you think? I think it felt incomplete. Like there was something missing. Uh, there was a way it was forced to end, you know? Dreams are... Dreams for so in certain ways. This one was, I think. I think it felt like I was trying to tell me something, but I wasn't listening closely enough. Maybe you can try again next night. See if you hear the same recording. Speaking of what, speaking of what frequency was on. That's some of the weird part. When I tried to see, I realized it hit the right channel and that it was in fact reading Alice in Wonderland. And this isn't exactly some obscure numbers station frequency on the AM bands. Well, maybe we'll dream again next night. Anyway, that's a good thing with dreams. You can always dream them again. Maybe do something different second time around. I think it is all done! Fuck, I was close on it! But she is badass except for killing herself, that was pretty pathetic. Listen, I've been asking there. Ooh, it's disappearing. Well, um. Better prepared at 1 out of 5. Fair enough. Well, anyway, guys, oh, I don't care. I click anyway, it's on. Anyway, um, I'm gonna leave this video here. I don't know if I'll do another video. I, I know I do want to get the, the real proper ending because it's really interesting. But I leave that to you guys. If you want to see more, leave a comment below. And I will see you all in a bit. Sayonara!